What's up, freaks? This is Breaking the Cycle, episode number six. Six? With who? Who's our host here? Tyson. Just Mitch. Tyson. Apparently, it's just Tyson. Mitch. For episode six. Yeah. Of Woo. Breaking the Cycle. Mitch. Wait, that's blocking my. What's the show called, though? It's fine. Breaking the Cycle. Breaking the Cycle. With Tyson. Mitch. I know. You're supposed to say the whole show. What's the show called? Breaking the Cycle, episode six. With? Tyson. Just Tyson? And Stephen Mitch. That's how you're supposed to do it. You're the one that made it up and you don't even know how to do it. Oh no, it's Mitch. Scoot over. Scoot over some. No, We're going to sit there. Tyson. Way over. Scoot way over. Scoot way over. It's uh, actually Mitch. Scoot way over. Way over. Mitch, scoot over. So People sitting are over there. messing up this day. Side by side. You two. Go. Right there. Ouch, 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 ouch. It's so, actually called me. This is a break in the cycle. This is about... Are you hiding behind the microphone? What are you doing with the microphone? What are you doing? And they won't be able to hear us. It's fucking me. I don't care. It's not. <laughs> so this is a show about being a positive male role model and breaking the cycle. Boo-hoo for poor little you but and what your... what if you're not a male? That's, then like it's not me. for you. Oh. I'm, you're not a male? I am. This is about a male breaking the cycle of being a... I am a positive male or something role model for these two little freak shows. What's up? You get it? Oh, I thought what do you want me to say? Something for all. I know nowadays you can decide whether you're a male or female. You know that? You're allowed to decide now. That makes sense, right? Hmm? That does? <laughs> no. Does it make sense? No, it doesn't. It, why does it make sense? You're born with what you are and you should be proud of that. <laughs> Whatever, we won't get into all that. We might offend some people out there. We want to offend people on Breaking the Cycle. Actually, we don't give a fuck if we offend people, but anyway. All right, so this is Breaking the Cycle episode number six. Before we get going into today's topic, which is going to be freaking awesome, we're going to talk about what we have coming up. This Saturday, we are doing a 24-hour hike. You two ever did a 24-hour hike before? No, no we have to practice. More. I can't. Screw us some more. There. So how, how, how are you going to know you're going to be able to do a 24-hour hike? Because we did other challenges. But you never did a 24-hour hike before. How do you know you're going to be able to do that? Because we did a bunch of hikes. Because you did a bunch of hikes? When was the last time you did a hike? Uh, was it the 15? Yeah, it was the 15. 15.7 miles. No, when was the last any hike? A month ago? No. A month ago? What's the last hike you did? When did you go on a hike? February, I think. Or... More than a month ago? Any kind of hike? Even like a three mile hike? So you're gonna go do a 24 hour hike when you haven't hiked in months. No, you did a couple hikes here and there. Oh yeah. But months, maybe a couple months ago. So basically we're gonna do a 24 hour hike. This is a fundraiser for charity and we have done zero practicing for a hike. I have a broken pinky toe, but I have nine other toes so we're not worried about a fucking pinky toe. But the point is we're just gonna go and do it. How do you know you're gonna do it? Because I'm just gonna do it. That's how. I'm just gonna do it. I'm not gonna be a little punk. And I'm just going to make it happen, right? That's the plan. We're just going to do it and get it done. It is for charity. You can check the link. I'll put the link in the comments below where you can donate. This is for Save Our Allies. This is an organization that's going into Afghanistan and evacuating the Americans that were left behind and the uh, interpreters and all the American allies that were just abandoned and left behind, including what? What do you want me and Tyson to go do and save? Dogs! She wants us to go there and save dogs. I'm all down for it. They let me bring my own gear. And, and me and Tyson can go. And I'm only going if Tyson comes because I know this little shit will have my back. It would suck, though, if, if you died and I didn't. That would just suck. But Why? I don't know. Just be, I'd rather be the one there with... Well, I would be the one to die. Anyway, we, were, okay, we're, we want to go to Afghanistan to save some... You're blocking your face on that one now on Instagram. Uh, in Afghanistan... But that's to save our allies for saveourallies.org. Check out the website. It tells you all about the fundraiser and the charity. We are doing it. We've already raised a few hundred bucks already, and this is Saturday. We just put the link up yesterday, so you could check. I'll put it in the I'll put it in the show description and in the comments below, so that you could actually donate for the fundraiser. And this is this Saturday. We're going to start at twelve noon all the way till twelve noon on Sunday. And it's not like we're going out, and you can come and join us in person here in Southern California. It's not like we're going out into the woods for 12 hours and coming back. So it's like a 24-hour distance hike. It's a three, about a three or three and a half mile loop that we end up at the same place we started after every three miles. 
So really, all we need to carry is a water, a flashlight, and some weapon or something. And you, you do it, and you come back. You can regroup, reset. You could join us for one lap. You could join us for all fucking 24 hours. Whatever works for you, but you also can donate. You also can do the same thing wherever. If you can't make it to Southern California, you can do it on your own. You can set up your own little mini fundraiser to the same foundation and use the same link to donate. So are you guys looking forward to the to the hike? Yes. Why? Yeah. Why? Because it's going to be fun. And we get to carb load. Get to what? Carb load. Carb load. Carb load. That's the only reason they like doing these challenges. Yeah, it's great to do it for a charity, for a fundraiser, to do something with a higher calling, something bigger and above yourself, to give back and help out people who are in need and, and appreciating where you are and all the shit you have in life. And it's good for the challenge, it's good for the camaraderie, it's good to get the exercise, it's good to bond as a family. But the main reason is what? You just said it. The carb load. The carb load. It's all carb about the carb load. load. They want to do challenges for the carb load. The night before we eat like fat pigs, we stub our faces so we can have the energy to get through it. I had to get some new flip-flops because I'm going to do most of this thing in flip-flops because most shoes don't close over my toe. It's a pinky toe. It gets crushed in the side. So got some new flip-flops to do this hike in for 24 hours. Hopefully it doesn't blister up too much. So that's going to be this Saturday. It's going to be freaking awesome. And we are going to have some freaking fun. What are you shooting? What are you doing? Issue. <laughs> Shooting all the cameras. All the different cameras, the tweeters, the MySpaces, all this other stuff. Some creep poked us on MySpace the other day. I think it's creepy when people poke you on MySpace. Or wave on Instagrams. Or whatever it is. Wave. Who waves or pokes people? Anyone who pokes someone on MySpace was always a creep. Poke. poke. Was a serious poke. creeper, right? Yeah. We say it in a Oh, God. Ready for a joke? What do you got? What do you call a guy who bows down before? No one can tell what you're talking when you talk like a baby. What? 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 All right, Tyson, tell a joke. She doesn't have a joke. Okay, okay. I, I have a joke. No, you lost a chance. Joke, you gotta, joke, you gotta take it serious. A joke. All right, go. Last chance. What do you call a guy who bows down before the king? Neil. There's the finger. And there's the nod. And then there's the top. Oh, on Facebook, you just got exposed, Midge. You poke. It says me and Midge poke. Who the hell's commenting that when we're here? We're saying any Ella. names. Hey, you said that we're not going to say any names. Snitch. Snitches end up in ditches. Ditches. Snitches end up in ditches. All right, so what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about today our... Everyone has their... I do a, a, a exercise in some training that we do, whether it's in the project. Sometimes I do some seminars, talking a workshop. I post that. Where you come up with five words that are describing yourself. It's, it's called the tip of the spear. You have two foundational words that are your foundation of who you are, who you want to be, the stamp you want to leave on the world. Then you have your two action words, which are like your arms. It's kind of like a star. And then you have your top head, which is your tip of the spear word, your main word. For me personally... It ended up being my two legs were discipline and energy. My two action words were confidence and action or attack. And my tip of the spear word was freak. But then and what's I, your middle? Ironically, middle was a gut for all those, from all those carb loading. <laughs> ironically, I think it was better when you're, it's, it was supposed to be where you're sitting like across each other. I think it's better when you're here. Move here. Jesus, what yeah, you've been eating? You've been carb loading too much. Put that in the middle so you're not cut off and we can sit here. This is better on the Facebookers. So, boogers, yeah. so we, whatever. Anyway, so that, ironically, if you do the acronym of that, D, Discipline, Energy, Confidence, Action, Freak, it spells out decaf. Now, that was my personal kind of stamp, my personal words that I created uh, about my, I, kind of, you want to call your identity, whatever, the, the, your stamp you want to have on the world, what makes you you, how you want to operate to dominate in this crazy world. So that's what mine came out to be. As I started getting into a lot of deeper coaching with coaching clients, deeper coaching in the project, deeper coaching in the, in the LTD where we're coaching teams across the country and one-on-one -on -one private coaching clients in the high-end Operate to Dominate private personal development coaching program, I started realizing that these five words, they're really five words that are applicable to anybody, including us, me. Little monsters, little kids. Yeah, so every night, what do we do every night before we go to sleep? Besides, we're trash. Journaling! 
besides trash the house and get all crazy and do crazy time, there's crazy time. So after crazy time, what happens? And we do have crazy time. We have smart time. It's a kind of a flow. It goes smart time, stupid time, crazy time, and then... Journaling. Journaling, we just say writing. I'm doing my writing. Because, I don't know, it's like writing time. It is journaling. So we all do our journaling. They have their kids' journal. I have my own journal. But what we add additionally, like, I don't... A lot of journals have prompts or whatever. They tell you they do they to fill in different sections. I have my own specific questions that I just add into my own journal every single morning and night. What we do is because if you want... Let me... You guys play sports, right? So if you were playing a game of basketball or a game of handball, imagine if there was not a score and not a scoreboard. And then your teacher, Miss 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 Karen, who's the teacher, and telling you to put your mask on while you're you're playing kickball or basketball, or whatever it is, said, "All right, game's over. Everyone go back to class." And you had no score, no scoreboard. You didn't know what the scores. You didn't keep track of the numbers. Would you Would you like that? Why not? Because then nobody wins, and it's just because today or a couple weeks ago, a uh, lunch. Right sorry. Day. A lunch monitor said that you play for the fun, not because nobody gets a trophy. It doesn't matter about winning or losing. It's just for the fun. So nothing in life matters about winning or losing. Got it. Got it. Got it. Which test, do you agree with that? You two agree with that? No. Do you think that you should play basketball? So you should tell her then. Why do we even keep a score in basketball? Why do we even keep a score in kickball? We should just play and shoot the basket and not even keep score since it's just for Fun. Of course, it's for fun. But, it's to learn the game. It's to have exercise, to, to uh, have fun with the other kids and, and communicate and bond and socialize and blah, 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 all that other stuff. But if you don't have a score, how do you know if you're winning? How do you know if you're losing? Because it matters winning or losing. So you should ask your, t- your teachers. You said, well, Miss Karen, let me ask you this question. Miss Karen, are you eating your hand? Are you that hungry? Ew. What are you doing? You do it too. Are you two done? Yes. yes. You sure? But sometimes, but sometimes it, it is actually for the fun, and it's everything in life isn't for winning. It, but some whoa, stuff, whoa, 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 whoa! Is your last name Eckert? Yes. No, it's. I mean, some things are for fun. You do you do some things for fun, like but you do want to win. But you play you video games. Shit, you don't want to win a video game. What happens when you don't win a video game? You freaking smash that damn controller. You start throwing it, saying all kinds of f words all over the place. Flip and frick and freak. <laughs> but you do want to win. You do want to have fun. But the point is, all right, ask your teacher, Miss Karen. Say, ask your question, Miss Karen. So technically, it shouldn't matter what my score is on my math test. It's just for oh. fun. <laughs> and let me ask you also this, Miss Karen. How about when I graduate high school, or if I graduate high school, if I'm not kicked out because I didn't get a needle jabbed in my butt cheek, could you stop eating your hand? It's very distracting. You guys want to joke? Real quick. So tell, no, ask, so ask her, say, Karen, so then really, I should just, I'm just going to choose which college I want to get to. Hmm, I think I'm going to go to Harvard. I'm going to go to Harvard Law School after I barely graduate high school. I'm going to go to Harvard. Can I do that, Miss Karen? Well, no, you have to get accepted to, to or you know that? You have to get accepted depending on, guess what? Your scores, Score. your grades, how you did in sports is going to go into it. But wait a minute, I thought it was just for fun. I'm going to go to college just for fun. Which probably is not going to be that much freaking fun in the first place, but that's besides the point. So you can tell her that definitely you want to worry about sometimes winning and losing. Plus you want to know how you're doing. How do you know if you're improving? How do you know if you're getting smarter? How do you know if you're getting better? If you're getting faster? If you don't keep track of your times on the run? If you don't keep track of the weights that you're doing? If you don't keep track of the basketball? How do you know if your team is doing good? It's just for fun. Sure, it's just for fun, but then you know what the problem is? Then they give everyone a trophy and they give everyone a little rainbow sticker so you can get a little high five and feel good about yourself and your team. I had a team one time in baseball. We had one win when I was in Little League. It was only in Little League for three years. I was pretty good. And I never paid for it because you had to pay like $47 to join the Little League team. My parents couldn't afford that. So the coaches would pay for me to join it. Major, are you going to do this with us or what? What are you doing? I'm bleeding. Would you stop? I'm what are you doing? Hello. Maybe you should go take care of that. Maybe you should just... <laughs> no, you don't, want to, you don't want to sit? You can not have to... You're not even paying attention. You're paying attention. What's going on here? Okay, so talk more about I this can't. Little League. Can't you're very distracting. You're like eating your elbow. You're eating your. Guys, want to joke real quick? Ugh. Go. What you got? Ugh. What do you call an alligator in a vest? Oh, I know this one. It's a vest. Shh. A 
Midge. An investigator. I know that one. Oh, man. Okay. Are you still eating your hair? Are you kidding? I'm not. I'm not. I was, but I'm not. Wait, you're, you're so lucky. This is live. Oh, That's like at court saying, when you're guilty, you're not guilty. I can't wait till we stop this live feed. Oh, it is on. But besides the I point... Get All right, so back to Little League. Back to Little League. So in Little League, I played and... Oh, we were one... We had one, one year, we had one win... And like 15 losses. End of the season, guess what I got? This fucking shiny trophy. A trophy. Why? Participation. You get participation awards. Participation trophies. All right. Speaking of which. A sticker for everyone. A sticker for everyone. A good job. Your team sucks in dead last place. You guys are horrible. But here's a trophy. <laughs> here's a trophy. I have a trophy. I had a trophy. Only trophy I ever got in my life, I think. It was from being 1-16 in 16 a Little League team. I didn't even pay for it to be in a league um, because the coach paid for me to be in there because my parents couldn't afford forty-seven freaking dollars. On that point, at the end of fourth grade, the teacher was gonna give an award to everybody, and like she said, "Oh my gosh, I gotta give you guys so many awards. Everybody deserves an award." And one of them was like most walking at recess or something, and most what? Like walking at recess, you know, and kept like, their mask on above their nose the largest percentage of the time. One Got of them the most, was most communicative when he was on Zoom and didn't answer a single question like during the year. So everyone had to get some kind of award. Yes. Because you know why? Why? Because if they didn't, it would hurt little Johnny's feelings. <laughs> little Johnny. Well, what was his name? I'm not, ah, not, not. end up in ditches. No name. So, back to the score. So, your scoreboard. So, we're doing our journaling. We do our journaling every I night. Can, I have another we, story on that. Go. What you got? Uh, how you said participation trophy on my first horseback riding show. Before I started, they gave me a participation trophy. But either way, I got um, either way, I did really good because I got third place. But you got a trophy before you started? Yeah. Before. Before. That, before the freaking competition even started, here's your trophy. Yeah, and it looks nicer than my ribbon that said third place on it. So the participation trophy is nicer and shinier and bigger and brighter than actually winning shit sometimes. That's the world we that's live in. That's wrong. That's the fucking world we live in. That a participation trophy is bigger and nicer than a red. That's just crazy. But at least I got third place. Good job. I mean, that's good. Good job. Hashtag good job. Too low. All right, so back to the score. So we do our journaling every night. We take those five words of decaf, discipline, energy, confidence, action, freak, and we score ourselves on a scale of one to five. And here's like the one of the most awesome things that that goes on is we'll sit there at the end of the night, you're winding down, get ready to go to sleep. All right, you can excuse yourself. Yeah. Bye. You're kicked out from breaking the cycle. No. You're no longer. Because you're just creating one. Mitch, focus. All right, so we rate ourselves. We sit there. We do our own journaling. We're sitting there. It's 10, 15 minutes of doing our own journaling, writing, writing our ideas that, uh, from the day, our, what we're grateful for for the day, things like that. What were our wins for the day? What were our struggles for the day? And then we finish off with rating decaf, discipline, energy, confidence, action, freak, on a scale of 1 to 5 for each one, a total of 25. And I'll tell you, it's the coolest thing when we're done. What do we always say when we're pretty much done journaling? What's your score? What's your score? Actually, you always say it before. Before we were like just first starting the first couple minutes during before we even get to the score. And what do you always say to me? What's your score? No, what do you think you're going to get today? Before we oh, even do yeah. it, what do you think you're going to get today? Like, I didn't get to it yet. Let me get to it. Let me focus. Let me think. So we get to it. It's like, what's your score? And we give our score. We talk about our score and we talk about which ones weren't a five. Because listen, it's not always a, a 25. The whole point is to be brutally honest with yourself and not give yourself a participation trophy and just give yourself a 25 every day because that's bullshit. You don't need it. Some days, a lot of times, what's the one that's down a lot for us? Freak. Our freak score. That's our tip of the spear word. That's our main word, like being our freak self. Not giving a shit what other people think about you. Having courage to be yourself. And that's the one that gets, it never gets much lower than a four. It's usually, it sometimes can be a four. It's a five a lot of times, but that's the one sometimes that would be down at a four. Discipline's usually there. Confidence is usually a five. 
Sometimes the energy will dip if we, we screwed up the day or something, or this kid kept me up till four in the morning playing video games. Maybe the energy is a little down the next day. I'm that sorry. might be a four. Mm -hmm. Usually not many things go below four. There'll be a, I'll get an occasional three here and there. They don't get threes too often. But the freak sometimes suffers, and it makes you really think, like, and you got to be on. That's our word. We're the freak family. This is a freak breaking the cycle family. show. Freak code, freak mode, mother effer. And then sometimes it's a four because you got to be real with yourself. Just bullshitting yourself and lying about it just to feel good about yourself and give yourself a participation trophy every fucking night. That's not how you're going to succeed. You need to score yourself. You need to rate yourself. You need to sometimes lose and know that you lost. Know that your day wasn't as good as it could have been. You could have been a lot better. So we rate ourselves. So what are your, what are those, all those scores like me too. Let's start the first one. Discipline. What do, what makes you? What do you base it on when you're scoring? What do you think about for the day, you two? Workout chores, getting my homework done on time, school. If I did good at school. So what's your discipline score usually each day? Five. What's yours usually? Mm, three. Can't hear you. Three or four. Bunch of new things. Sometimes. <laughs> Our discipline, like when we're recording a show called Breaking the Cycle, we break our discipline and we start eating our elbow. You know that only like something like 1% of people, humans can lick their own elbow. Can you lick your own elbow? Almost. And you used to be able to. I Try licking your own elbow out there. Hopefully you're out driving your car or at work and people are going to see you trying to lick your elbow look like an idiot. And I can't only even some people close. can raise I can't their... even lick my damn armpit. Can you lick your armpit? If you really do it, oh, you fell for it. It was a joke. You're licking your nasty, stinky armpit. <laughs> it was just a joke. Why well, can't? God. Ew. Yeah. Oh. And only some people could raise their eyebrow. That guy can't lift, lick those things. That'd be just nasty. I can't raise an eyebrow. What are you, a rock? I thought you could. I can't. I could wiggle my ears. I could. Who can wiggle their ears? I can. Can you lick your own elbow and can you, I can wiggle the ears. That's called muscular focus. That's called discipline. All right. So next, a little bit. E, what's the E stand for, Mitch? Energy. What's your energy usually? <laughs> yeah, look at it. It's a six. We, it, it, see, that, that's what, those are my two foundational words. Those are the two legs. If I know I have my discipline and my energy locked down, there's nothing I have to worry about. I know it's going to give me the confidence to take action to be my freak mother flipping self. This one that never has problem with discipline. This one has some might have some issues. issues with discipline. We do have some energy problems here. Not problems, but we're, we, it, it's not optimal certain times because of whatever reason. This one, even though it doesn't have the uh, uh, optimal discipline, I'm pretty sure is a, a pretty much a five on energy all the time, right? Because you're just a freak show. Yeah! Probably has something to do with the fact you go to sleep before all of us and you wake up after all of us and you have to get dragged out of bed every day to go to school because you get like 15 hours of sleep. And that's besides the point. So you get nine hours of sleep. Do you do drugs, kid? Like in Holmes and Watson. Holmes and Watson. Yeah, they did. morning they did snort of cocaine. And <laughs> exactly. they went to the park. And they went to the park. And, and Sherlock Holmes was like, do you have a snort of cocaine? And then they were, and then they went crazy. How do you even know what cocaine are? You're just two little children's. Because we watch movies. What was the last funny movie we watched? What's the funniest movie we watched recently? Major Pain. Major Pain. Classic. If you haven't seen Major Pain, you're miss not. You're not a real American. You have to watch the rest of it. You fell asleep through the end of it. Or, you know, yeah, you weren't even the sleep one day. Major Pain, we just watched it again. Oh, man. Oh, what a classic. I haven't seen that in a decade. Stitch Got Mad Story. No. Who's got a joke for us? Me. What do you got? Why did the king, why did the kid bring a ladder to school? Why? He wanted to go to high school. school. He wanted to go to high school. They get better and better. They get better and better. All right, so energy. You get a five. How do you base your energy, Tice? What do you base it off of? What, what do you base energy off of? Your E. Your my workout. Like, if my workout was, like, slow and droopy, then droopy. energy would be down. But you still have the discipline to get through it, right? But you know those are the workouts that count. When you're kind of feeling the energy down and you're feeling a little slow and tired and sluggish and weak, but you still stick a five to discipline in that shit and you get it done... Those are the ones that get you better and strong. You don't even realize it, but those are the ones that get you to the next level. Okay. You little freak. Now I'm taller than you. Now you're in high school. All right. C. What is C? Confidence. What's your confidence usually each day? Mm, three or four. Three or four? Really? What's yours usually? 
Five. That one's never a problem for you, right? That's I think it's a five every day you've ever done this. You've been doing this now for like a year, probably. Decaf, at least. Why is Five, three? three. You think yours is three or four? I don't think your, your confidence is not usually three or four. Why do you put it three or four? Sometimes I don't feel like doing stuff. That's not confidence. You know you can do it. Confidence is like you know you can get shit done. You know you're capable. You feel good about yourself. So that's technically action? No, action is then actually doing the shit. <laughs> yeah, your, yeah, your action might be down. Your action is up Two like three. bouncing around, but action on productive shit, shit you're supposed to be doing, <laughs> your action on shit you ain't supposed to be doing is a 10 out of 5, like when you're supposed to be bringing the groceries in and instead you're sitting there with a, a, twirly, twir, oh, a hamster on a twirly wheel instead <laughs> and not doing your homework until you're walking out the door to go to school the next day. That's, actually, that's down the action part. Actually, today, right when I got home from school, I did my homework. But it's confident. That's a high confidence because you're like, you know what? I got this shit. I'll just do it whenever. I'll do it. I'll figure it out. Confidence is knowing you're going to figure shit out no matter what. So I think you had that off. You see, your confidence is, is good. Yeah, because you're eating some too much ice cream. That's a workout. Jeez. <laughs> the hell you been eating? First, I just went out to hug you, but then you picked me up. I thought you were coming to pick me up. All right, so that leads us to A. So what is A? We just kind of said it. Action. 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 So action score is like an 11 out of 5 on... Shit, you're not supposed to be doing getting in trouble. You're very good at action of getting in trouble. You are a little troublemaker. What's your action score? Five. Usually five, getting shit done. Is it once in a while? It's a four, right? Like yeah, if you, like, like you didn't do if enough. If you don't or, do the show, then it's a definitely a four. Like, like one day we missed this show, that brought our action score down. It brought our freak score down. Energy. And really, it should have brought. Well, I don't think we brought the dis. It should have brought our discipline down. We didn't have the discipline to do it. Like if it, one time we missed the show. But we did it today here for you. All right, leads us to the king of all of them, our favorite word, our favorite F word, our second favorite F word in the world, freak. What's the third is fudge nuts. Fudge nuts. What's the first? Oh, the real one. What's the first? What kind of question is that? Yeah, the real one. Fun. Oh. Family. Just kidding. The F word <laughs> of all F words, you know what it is. Yeah, <laughs> oh, everybody knows it. They've heard it once Twice. Heard but one? we've heard it like uh, maybe a billion times, 10 billion. How many times do you think you heard that? 10 billion? No, really, like a real actual number, not 10 billion. 10 million? You think you've heard that word 10 million times? In my lifetime? 10 million. On you've only been on this earth for 10 years. Movies. All right, just from in real life person, just from me. Um, million. Nine point ninety nine 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 million. So only 0.000001 million was in the movies. Why are you watching movies that say the F word? You're not allowed to watch that stuff. Well, I'm sorry that you let us. Hope Snitches end up in ditches. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear that. So there's Snitches a microphone and, uh, right in here. ditches. All right, so the F, the freak, freak shows. What is it? What do you rate yourself on when it comes to freak? Five to four. But what do you five, rate it on? Five, like, what's your five, criteria? Five, five. What do you judge it against? What do you rate it for? No, you're not a freak at all. Not at all, Mitch. School, working out, like the harder and crazier the workout I'm was, you the are more freaky freak was the even like action brings it to freak. Freak, 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 freak. Five, 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 five. Very, very normal child. This is disturbing. But that's what a freak show is, being yourself. Now, having the courage to be yourself. Having, oh, what's that smell? It smells like butt, foot, and corn chips. Ow, yeah. So freak is what our top word is. That's like the head of the star, the, the, the tip of the spear. What so all that leads up to is being our freak selves. Going a, and living life on our own terms. Like the little freak shows wear two different color shoes. Sometimes wear backwards damn clothes. It also just means being happy. Being happy. So it doesn't always mean you have to have doing videos like this and being all nut jobbish like this one. It sometimes could be you were your freak self. Like you just did what made you happy that day. Even if, it, even if the rest of the world didn't see it. It's not approval seeking for the rest of the world or having to do it as an audience or a show. It's sometimes just knowing that you were yourself. And you lived life on your own terms. You just said shit that day that made you happy. So there's sometimes a Sunday. We're not on social media at all. We don't do much. We don't get out. We don't go anywhere. Guess what our but the freak is called. But, but it can still be a five on the freak if you were yourself and you were happy and you were your freak self and 
weren't conforming to the world and sticking a jab and a needle in your butt cheek because the world told you to because that wouldn't be very, free, very freakish of you. That'd be very sheepish of you. The freaks versus sheeps. Just like yesterday was. What was it yesterday? Badassery versus, versus bitchassery. Today it's the freaks versus the sheeps. Not the goats, the sheep. We like goats. Goats are our friends. Anyway, anything you want to add to the decap? Any, anything to send us out with a, a joke you want to send us out with? Oh, me. What you got? What's at the bottom of the ocean and shakes? A nervous wreck. I don't get it. Your jokes create pure silence. They take, it takes a lot to shut me up, but you mastered the art of shutting me up with these jokes. Anything you want to add to end Freak Show, Little Midge? Any other jokes you got, or are you all out for today? I'm all out. All right, so this has been Breaking the Cycle, episode so number six. Seven. Number six. Six. Anything you two want to leave these people with as I sign off and go hit the thing. No! Excuses! Very, very, very normal children. I can't imagine where you get from. I will talk to you the next time. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.